everybody. I hope you are well. It is Greg Whispering Storyteller here, giving you a nice, quiet, really soft whisper. And uh, we're going to do something a little bit different today. We are going on a train journey. Um, now, I'm going to be switching to the footage shortly, but just to give you the context, um, I've already recorded the voiceover for the video, so I don't really want to duplicate what I'm saying. But this is just uh, something I was going to include for last week's ramble, but I hadn't actually um, downloaded the footage from my mobile phone. So um, I hope you enjoy it. Um, it's a, it's a hopefully a little bit funny and light-hearted, even though it wasn't at the time. I'm going to tell you all about my disastrous night away. Okay, so let's switch over and hope you enjoy it. So today we have left the room and going out on a train ride. Um, so I'm just going to tell you a funny story of what happened with this trip. It was a bit of a disaster to be honest. Um, but yeah, I'll tell you all about it and you can find out why it was a disaster. Over because um, it was quite loud on the train. There was people talking, there was kids crying. Um, so I'm just doing a voiceover. This is a week later. Um, so this was an all intents to be a relaxing night away with me and my partner. We decided to bundle up with the dog and instead of driving, take the train from Newcastle Central Station which is where we've just left and to go to a place called Owlmouth which I've visited a few times and I've even got videos of me on the beach there in Owlmouth but it is my favourite place uh, a home from home a mere 45 minutes away from my front door but it's far enough to feel like you've been somewhere different so this is a regular haunt for us and we really love it up there. So here you will notice that it's quite built up. There's quite a lot of buildings and um, residential estates and industrial estates. This is because it's still really part of the city sprawl if you like. So as you can see we're getting further and further out. It will start to be less buildings and more open country. So we're heading north from Newcastle and on the train that goes to Edinburgh. Um, this train leaves quite regularly and it's only, as I said, a 25 minute ride to this lovely little village called Almouth, which is right on the coast. So we just left a few minutes ago. It's probably recorded real time-ish. Um, I sat down in the seat and I just thought this would make a good video. And I just whipped out the phone and stuck it against the window and just let it record. Still a lot of buildings there and businesses. All sorts of businesses, all connected to the city, and uh, yeah. So let me get into the story. So, why was this a disaster? Um, okay, so we'd already had the first kind of disaster at this point. So, remember when I told you that we wanted to have the car at home? have a few drinks, go with the floor, not have to worry about driving, because um, we do like a few beers here and there, and we'd worked hard all week, we'd been decorating, and doing all sorts of chores, so this was like a little treat, just to have a, a night away. So, um, we lost 
track of the time. So we left the house and just uh, sauntered up to Newcastle. But then we realised that the, the train was actually leaving 20 minutes later and we weren't even in the city. And it's a good walk away from the bus stop. Um, so we took a bus to Newcastle and got the train from Newcastle to Alamouth. So when we arrived in Newcastle, we had to run, I mean run, two backpacks, a dog. We were just fleeing down the streets toward the train station in this panic. I'm talking face bright red and huffing and puffing. And we literally stepped on the train the minute it was about to leave. So it took us, I was still probably catching my breath at this point. And uh, we were just absolutely exhausted and even the dog was exhausted. Um, so we thought, right, we're on the train. That's it, we've made it, it's all fine now. But little did we know we were, that was just the start of a 24 hour disaster. And it's funny in hindsight, but at the time it was quite um, a challenge. So, um, now this is weird because I'm talking about this in past tense and at this time of filming, um, I was still very much looking forward to a nice evening. Like I say, we go to Alamouth quite often. We stay at the same hotels, and we know the staff there, And but this time I went on Booking.com. I don't know if you get Booking.com where you are, but this is just an online uh, hotel booking. And uh, I was busy at the time, a good few weeks ago, and I just uh, saw the name of the hotel and just booked it there and then, instead of going on the website or ringing them. It was more just for convenience. So I got to, um, we walked about two miles down to the village from the, the train station stop, which we're going to be getting off soon. But remember, we're fast forwarding here. So we walked down to um, the village, backpacks and dog, and we thought, right, we're in Almouth now. That's it. The train, the journey's over. We can just relax and check into the hotel have some food, go on the beach, take the dog for a night, nice long walk. But when I got into the hotel, the guy asked me for, um, it's a pub basically with rooms above. And uh, he asked me what my name was. It was a new guy who'd just taken over not long ago. So he didn't really know us. And uh, I told him my name and he said, I haven't got you, can I have a look at your booking? So I got on my phone and he looked at it and uh, then we realized that it was the wrong hotel that I booked. Now the hotel that I booked was a good seven mile away, had the same name, more or less. So we were devastated, so we were staying seven mile away from our beloved Alamouth village. So we had a drink just to calm down. And then we jumped on public transport and went seven mile. And again, I'm going to show you the, the village uh, where we, we stayed. Again, just remember the video is shot out of order if you like. So at this point, we still thought that we were going to Almouth. So we jumped on the bus, not very happy, but just had to roll with it. We had a meal booked in Almouth for that evening. Um, and uh, lots of things. I think I just uh, moved the camera slightly. Um, so yes, yeah, so we jumped on the bus and we thought, well, we'll go and check into the right hotel seven mile away and then we'll just come back to Alamouth and have the rest of the day, um, have the evening meal, then go back to this other place, which is where we were. And uh, that's where we will just... Um, spend the night and then come back so we kind of did that um, and uh, without being disgusting <laughs> um, I don't mean to be crass at all but my dog D 
decided to um, go for a number two um, and his backside wasn't very clean because he's quite a shaggy haired dog he just had this most horrible messy poop um, and his backside was all claggy and uh, disgusting and we we didn't know what to do with him so we uh, checked into the hotel and we ended up having to put him in the shower room just to kind of clean him down uh, we do take a backpack with lots of things in there for emergencies but we had to clean him down then clean the shower out um, we then thought right we'll go back to Alamouth and uh, jump back on the bus and we did we got back to Alamouth about 45 minutes or so by the time you wait for the bus and then get the next one when we got to Alamouth we just started to go around the, the lovely little uh, pubs and we had you know a few drinks um, the dark nights are getting in now so it's nice and cosy, the fire was, was on and it was nice and full of ponders and uh, really cosy. So with after our meal we got a last bus, which was awful because we felt we were clock watching. Instead of relaxing, we had to make sure we were on the last bus to get us back to the next village where we were staying by mistake. Um, all was well, you know, we got up the next morning had breakfast but then we decided we would walk so remember that our train journey back was from Almouth so we decided we would walk the seven mile everything had gone pretty fine at this point but this was the day from hell <laughs> we took a wrong turn basically we ended up um, walking along this lovely coastal path but then we we got to Almouth, it is separated by this really deep estuary and it's you can't cross it basically, it's too deep and we're talking it's not very far but you just couldn't walk over there with your trousers rolled up with backpacks and a dog so we decided to backtrack and try and find a path that took us over the estuary by going back up to this main road we took a wrong turn, we ended up in this marshland um, there was only us, we walked for miles and miles and the mud underneath us was getting soggier and soggier and in the end we started sinking in this mud. Um, we started to panic, my partner fell down, then fell backwards, covered in mud. I did the same, um, the backpacks were covered in mud, we were, and the mud had a really horrible smell, it was almost like a... Um, a peaty, boggy smell. It was basically just you were sinking in the mud, but it was really bad smelling mud. So it was a nightmare because we were literally shoes were squelching, covered in mud, um, and we had to try to backtrack. All the time we were panicking because we had to get the train to go back home, and uh, we had to walk about two mile backwards to then try and get up to this main road and uh, when we got to the main road um, we were absolutely so smelly because of the smell of this mud was drying on our clothes but then we realized that we'd missed um, the train and there was no further trains that day it was all going to be replacement buses no more trains that day so that meant we had a three hour wait and we were all smelly and covered in mud so we had to walk back to Alamuth which took another hour and get changed in the toilet into uh, BJ bottoms pajama bottoms there was no other choice because these clothes were so smelly um, it was a nightmare so we ended up um, getting a replacement bus from Alamouth to Annick in pajamas and then having to get a bus from uh, Annick to Newcastle in pajamas there you can see we just arrived at Alamouth now and you can see that estuary that 
there it is, the estuary there is what separates, we couldn't get over that, so we had to backtrack to get right round where this train is going to get back to the village. Um, it was a disaster and it took us hours and hours and hours to get home, and uh, you can imagine, we were miserable, smelly, tired, yeah you can see the estuary. So really, the big mistake that I'd done is I booked the wrong hotel. Everything would have been fine if I'd booked the right hotel as normal. Um, but if we hadn't done that walk on the morning, and being clever, we would have just got public transport and got back up to this and caught the train. But anyway, I've told you a bit of a rambling story there. But if I did the bullet points, it's a lot funnier, I think. Um, yes, yeah, so we're just about to arrive in Alamouth now. And you can see the train is starting to slow down. And um, probably going to get off, so I could imagine I'm standing up, not knowing the nightmare that I've got in front of me. And this is the station now. And there we are getting off. And that's the lovely station. And there's the train pulling away on its way to Edinburgh. The trains aren't as nice as what they used to be. The big steam trains, but they're very nondescript now. Lovely. The next clip is the disaster. We've already had to get the bus down to this other village, so this isn't our mouth. This is probably about um, two hours later when we had to go to this next place. So we're just going down toward the hotel now. Up there's Halo. Yeah, just before he had the accident that I mentioned. And it's really pretty, as you can see, so serene. And you can see autumn's just starting to, to arrive, and there's a nice serene little duck, all by himself. So we've got Big Walkworth Castle there, so that's a lovely castle. We actually went in and did a video. I'll make a video of our trip to that castle if you get to see it. And that was the end of the footage. I didn't actually record anything of the actual disaster day because I was in the moment and <laughs> trying to get home as quick as I could. But I do hope you found this relaxing. I don't mind you having a bit of a laugh at my expense. But most of all, I do hope you have a great night's sleep. And uh, I will see you again very, very, very soon. Thank you so much and take care.